Bye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, smoking. Look, swearing. Look, you've been warned because they're coming. Three, look, look, two, look, look, one. Bye. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> My name is Shamari Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And bang, we have a great show for you tonight. Yes, obviously, being the greatest show in the multiverse. What else would you expect? From such an establishment as this. Look. All right. So. <laughs> all right. So check this out. Um, so we always talk about. Well, this this company comes up in the. Uh, top 10 gainers, top 10 losers thing all the time. Yeah, well, they onboarded someone. So we're going to talk about it. Algorand onboards acid block. For a 60 million dollar real estate platform thing. So we're going to talk about it. Ah, like, oh, we always talk about these guys at the top 10, bottom 10 thing. Then, uh, oh, see what I'm telling you guys. Here comes, this is your mass adoption. Bitcoin mutual fund in Asia. We're going to talk about that. And then, bang, we're going to talk to our favorite CEO, Mike Novogratz. <laughs> Around here, we like to talk. We like to listen to what he says. And he's going to, we're going to do a little bit of, Mike Novogratz Crypto Talk. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> Mike Novogratz Crypto Talk. So look, look. Look, look. Oh, man, it's all on my grill. Look. All right. Bye. Yes. Let's get over here. I heard, I heard the markets were a little thrashed today. Let's refresh. Yes. Yes. All right. Whatever. All right. Bitcoin at $9,908. And when I left you last night, it was at $2,249. So about $300 difference. All right. Look, look. Oh, hey, look at these moves. The, 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 the coin market cap charts make things look so drastic. It's only a three-point drop. Look at it. That is way... <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so pathetic. They really try to hype you up. All right, anyways. Look, top 10 uh, of the day, brothers. By Mark Cap of the day, brothers. Usual suspects of the day, brothers. Look, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Tether, EOS, Binance Coin, Bitcoin SV, and Stellar holding on number 10 strong. Oh, Lee, look at it. What up, 21%? All right, all right. Stellar, look at you. Look at you. Oh, that's fucked up because I even have a Stellar story. Uh, if I had known it went up, I would have done it so I could have matched it to the story. Look, we'll get to that. All right, Mark lose the day. Single digits up, single digits down, brothers. All right, single digits up, single digits down. A lot more down than up. Single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits down. Two. Single digits up, two single digits down. Oh, there's that Algorand thing right there. We're going to talk about this coin right here. You see it at number 50? That's what we're about to talk about. All right, let's take a look at it, actually. What do they got? 113 million market cap. Still room to grow. What, they're at 31 cents? Okay. Volumes at 64 million a day. Not bad, not bad. Acceptable. Mm. And they got 355 million of these. So even if they get to a dollar, bang, that's only a $355 million company. Look, look. That is some room for growth. All right. Look. Top 10. Losers of the day, brothers. Let's take a quick look. If you see anything on here you like, you go get it because it is on sale. Bye. Look, look. Top 10 loser of the day. Cosmos, Quant, Rift Token, Made Safe Coin, Q Coin Shares, V Chain, Ethereum Classic, V Systems, Binance Coin, and Waves. Let's see who made money today, brothers. Bye. Look, look. Top 10 winners of the day, brothers. Stellar, ABBC Coin, Aurora, Nash Exchange, Ox, Beam, Chainlink, Electronium, Dragon Coins, and Status. Let's look what the total mark cap of the day is, brothers. <clears throat> What do you got? 
263.2. Your total market cap of the day. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, 263.2 in total market cap. And yesterday we were at 271.9. Let's call that 272. And let's call this 263. So, bang, down about $12 billion. Yes. All right. Let's look at total volume of the day, brothers. 68.4 in total volume of the day. Mm, all right. So that's way up. We were at 63.5 yesterday, so let's just call that a $5 billion rise in volume with a major dump in market cap. Motherfuckers took profits today. Yes, yes, a little profit taking. Look, all right, that's how it goes. Look, look, all right, bang. Check out these guys. Asset Block launches a $60 million real estate investment platform on, bang, that Algorand thing. So look, that's cool. We've never read about Algorand here before. And let me tell you guys something. Look, if you guys are into some token or something, feel free to tell me. But I had a brother yesterday. Let's look at this brother here. And I love you, brother. I'm not dissing you, but let me just give an example. So he tells me, Shamari, you know. Make a video about web dollar, please. I told him if you give me a URL of them making money, I'll do it. Sure, brother. So he gives me a URL of their website. <laughs> you know, I don't do that bullshit around here. And then he's like, and you can make a video and web dollar will pay me. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not here to get paid. I do this for free, baby. If I want to get paid, pff, believe me, I could. <laughs> I'm a killer. Uh, and so I told him not interested. And uh, so he said, all right, well, it's an innovative cryptocurrency and everything. Look, 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 guys, if you want me to talk about your crypto, well, it's got to be doing shit like this. Bye. It's got to onboard something. I am not going to waste my subscribers' time with fuckery talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, people got shit to do. They got wives, lives. <laughs> not me, but they do. <laughs> I'm gluten-free. But they got wives and kids and shit. So, you know. I got to give them their money talk and get them out the door. Look, look, here's your money. Look, look. All right, peace. Bang. See you tomorrow. All right, so <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not kidding. I really, I'm serious. We don't have time to talk about any of that bullshit. So look, if you want me to talk about your shit, it's got to be making money. I don't care. Like I said, if it's making five cents, I will talk about it right dag on here. Run these parts, that's what it's about. Any crypto makes money. This show has two parts where we look at the, the legislators and regulators and banksters. That's the one part. And then we look at crypto. Yeah, well, the only crypto we look at around here is it has to make money. If it's not making money, I'm not talking about that shit. All right. All right. So look, and that's why we're talking about Algorand because what? They just signed a $60 million real estate investment fucking shit with asset block. Bye. But if you do, and this is what I want to tell you, like if you if there's something you like out there and they're making loot, well, fucking tweet it to me. Send it to me in the URL, whatever. I'll talk about it. I want to talk about it, all right? I want to talk about whatever's making money. But just telling me to go look at something, Shamari, go look at this. It's innovative. Yeah, yeah, they're all innovative. But Shamari, it's a great company. No, it isn't. It's great when it's making money. Now it's great, right? Once it makes money, then it becomes great. Before that, yeah, it's just a bunch of fucksticks sitting around on laptops in an office building. That's not great. That's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> okay? So, all right, that's how it's going to work around here, brothers. Send me all your revenue-generating product URLs and all that. I'll talk about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But don't, don't like, Shmore, this is, a great, this is a great project. No, it isn't. Until it's making money, it's not great. It's just a bunch of guys sitting around in an office building. <laughs> Spending your money on lunch. Look. All right. Look. Let's move. Look. Algorand. A new permissionless, pure proof of stake blockchain project. 
led by Turing Award winning Silvio Makai. And remember, I was telling you about the Turing guy. He's the guy who he uh, he broke the Enigma code of the Nazis. Yes. But they put him in jail for being a homosexual. So look, uh, has partnered with the real estate investment company Asset Block to launch a new $60 million platform on the Algorand blockchain. Look, all right. So here's this tweet. Today marks the launch of Asset Block's real estate investment platform on Algorand. Yes, look at you, Algorand. Look, look, Algorand holders. Bye. Yes. An exciting milestone that will increase access and create investment opportunity for global participants. Boom. All right. So according to the announcement, Algorand holders will be able to invest in exclusive commercial real estate opportunities via the new asset block chain, or sorry, asset block platform. All investments can be made directly with Algo for shares in the properties. All right. Uh, so they're tokenizing properties. Is that what's going on? All right. So we created asset block because the modern economy was in need of modern technology. We saw an opportunity to build a solution that brings traditional and non-traditional real estate investors and professionals together efficiently, creating more opportunity for all involved. Mm. Uh, said asset block founder and CEO, Michael Liddell. So lodging capital partners um, represents the caliber of real estate investment partner that asset block is proud to offer access to our platform. So lodging capital partners, I guess must be some badasses because this guy's all bragging about that's the caliber. He said the caliber of real estate investment partner. And I guess if you're a real estate guy, you should know about that. Actually, I should ask some of my buddies if they know about these guys. Look, uh, LCP, LCP has invested in a portfolio of properties valued at more than $1.5 billion and continues to deliver strong performance. All right. So Algorand CEO Steve Kokinos added asset blocks model to broaden capital pools for real estate investment aligns perfectly with our long-term vision of building a borderless economy by removing friction for these types of investment opportunities globally. Nice. I think I get what he's trying to say. If I want to invest in a piece of property over here, I can just invest in this, and I will have a piece of bang, bang, bang hotel in Sweden or whatever, right? I mean, I think. I don't know. I think that's what he's saying, right? Knock down the borders so I don't have to, you know, go there and do all this crap. I can just buy this, and I'll be invested in these properties. Uh, the first investment opportunity is a joint venture with Lodging Capital Partners <clears throat> and an owner and asset manager of Upscale and Luxury Hotels. All right, so. All right, there it is. But there's that Algorand thing. They have onboarded this guy's asset block. Boom. A launching some investment, real estate investment thing on. Here it is, Algorand. So Algorand hodlers. I haven't heard any of you guys tell me about that. But look, there you go. Bye. Yes. Onboarding, making money, revenue generating. Nice. All right. Bang. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here we go. So new Bitcoin mutual fund eases crypto for weary Asian investors. This is what I'm telling you. Here's your mass adoption, boys. This is your mass adoption. Uh, slowly but surely oh just wait till fidelity comes i know i keep saying it because it's true you'll see it'll be a spectacle and you, you better believe i'll be reporting about it here all the time look new bitcoin mutual fund needs crypto for weary asian investors now hong kong based venture capital group cmcc global launched its liberty bitcoin fund to provide cryptocurrency access to accredited investors so only accredited investors, no retailers yet, in Asia who are very interested but have been slow to buy the coins directly. Exactly. And this is funny what this guy says. He says this funny thing. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, the Liberty Bitcoin Fund is a single asset passive tracker of Bitcoin and offers services including buying and safekeeping of coins. So no one's trading it for you. It just goes up and down by the price of Bitcoin. Passive. 
Um, it's not actively traded, an actively traded fund. Um, we've received more and more questions over the years. So this is the guy. Uh, I guess he's the CEO of this thing or something. Uh, we've received more and more questions over the years from our existing investor base about whether we could help them buy Bitcoin. Exactly. They don't want to go through, I told you guys, going through Coinbase, Binance, all that, that's crackhead shit. Motherfuckers don't want to do that, but they will go through, like I told you, like backed and all these other proper channels, you know? And so they're like, please help us. And so, so the guy, what is his name? Martin Bowman, managing partner of CMCC Global, told Coindesk about that. That's what he told them. And he said the new fund is really a demand driven is really demand driven in other words people kept asking us so we were like all right we'll make a fun for you <laughs> yes that's awesome so look look uh cmcc global has set up three funds since 2016. all of the funds are focused on investments in proprietary technical infrastructure such as ethereum network where developers can build applications so the funds have raised more funding from high net worth individuals family offices assets and institutional investors over time so accredited investors the first fund in the cmc the cmcc liquid vc series gathered 1 million that's fuck all while the other two successors received 35 3.5 million also fuck all but then the other one got 30 million now we're talking now we're talking so now bowman said the anchor investor for the third fund is one of the largest family offices in asia yes See that $30 million fund? He said, yeah, the anchor of that one is one of the biggest family offices in Asia. Yes. While declining to reveal the identity, obviously, due to privacy and regulatory requirements. Now, Japanese messaging app Line also invested in the third fund. So this third fund, this $30 million fund, they invested in that too. Remember yesterday? Where was that? Where was that? Binium sent that shit to me. Or was that right line right here these guys line messaging app line global has officially launched cryptocurrency exchange service for 80 million users bang well guess what else they did bang they invested in this 30 million dollar um what kind of fund is it <laughs> i don't remember but anyway is it a more mutual fund hold on hold on yeah mutual fund all right all right <laughs> couldn't remember what kind all right so Bowman, hold on, let me put it back up here so when we get over here, we can bang people accordingly. Look. Um, <clears throat> so Bowman said the anchor, oh, so that's the anchors are part of that, uh, and that's line. So the latest fund uses Anx, Anx One Custody. Oh, that's their custody service. A proprietary digital asset safekeeping system. With insured wallet providers, so this custody is this custodian is sure insured by custodian BC Group. We all know about custody. Bang, custodian share. Bang, I've taught you all about it. Look, a digital asset technology company publicly listed on Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Oh, they've got some big names for their custody. Nice, nice. So, growing demand for digital asset class. So, there's a rising demand for cryptocurrencies as an asset class for traditional funds industry pro said as digital assets mature and gain recognition such as being included in mutual funds and etfs oh, wait till i told you i keep saying it wait until fidelity gets here look look that's your mass adoption that's your mass adoption <laughs> buying coffee ain't gonna happen putting your putting your uh, 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 soccer mom and dad investing in a crypto mutual fund you dag on right they will a, a, a crypto ETF, you dag on right, they will. So look, this volatility should, wait, look, look. This volatility, volatility should slowly subside, making it a more appropriate investment in multi-asset portfolios. Exactly. Costia Etus, portfolio manager of CLS Investments and money management. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So as digital assets grow to be perceived as a legitimate investment in portfolios, mutual funds have become one of the more accessible ways to own crypto. Exactly. So how come mom and dad don't want to go through all this bullshit, cutting and pasting pieces of, you know, these little addresses and all this weirdness and fuckery. But they will do it. 
they will get a mutual fund and they'll be exposed to the price movement of of uh bitcoin or whatever whatever coin yes look um so investors who like mutual uh, you know like anyway man i'm not gonna get into all of it people don't want to do all that manual labor crap like you and i we do they're not gonna do all that but fidelity is like yeah we'll sign you up bang how much bitcoin you want bang and the guy just does it for them soccer mom and dad are gonna do that they're gonna fucking do that i tell you that right now um investors who prefer not to open accounts specifically for digital assets would be able to purchase mutual funds within their standard brokerage accounts and maintain all their assets in one place exactly exactly fuck you know they don't want to go through all the hassle coinbase binance i gotta move this year cut and paste this year and all this people aren't gonna do all that crap um while cryptocurrencies not be might, might not be as stable as traditional assets including fixed income and equity, Edis pointed out their price movements tend to be non-correlated with other, with other asset classes, increasing the diversification benefit of adding crypto to already diversified portfolios. Exactly, I agree. Look, once you know that there's a tsunami coming, just buy it and hold it. Um, despite the benefits, volatility, all right, may talk about the volatility. All right, let's talk about it. Despite the benefits, Volatility in digital assets such as Bitcoin is very high, sometimes moving more in one day than some asset classes do in years. <laughs> it's a safety asset. No, it isn't, fuckstick. But this extreme volatility may be dangerous and detrimental to portfolio returns over the short term. But when you know, bang, there's an overall tsunami coming, when you're trading the fundamentals, wow, settle down, brother. It's only a matter of time <laughs> before that ROI rolls in. So look. Ah, uh, blah, 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 All right. So, crypto investment in Asia is less common than you'd think. Uh, or limited access in Asia. It's less common than you think. If you're a billionaire in Hong Kong or anywhere in the world, you don't get a ledger and tell your analyst to buy some Bitcoin for you, and then he runs away with it. <laughs> that just doesn't work. Exactly, that's what I tell you. Right, like, you, you can't just do that. Right? You tell your analyst. <laughs> that's hilarious. Usually, I always think of the hedge fund manager running off with people's money. But it's true. If the hedge fund manager is like, hey, boys, you know, buy me a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, put it on that ledger, right? And he gives it to Johnny. Johnny does it. Where's Johnny, everyone? You know, an hour later, everyone's looking for Johnny. Johnny said he's going to lunch. Well, where's the ledger? Gone with Johnny. That son of a bitch robs you. Like, you're not allowed to do that. You're not... That's why it, you need custody. <laughs> That's why you need custody. <laughs> That's hilarious. If you're a billionaire in Hong Kong or anywhere in the world, you don't get a ledger and tell your analyst to buy some Bitcoin for you and then he runs away with it. That just doesn't work. <laughs> exactly, brothers. That's what we're waiting for. Bang! So that they don't have to give Johnny a ledger nano. Look! CMCC is launching its Liberty Bitcoin Fund with the ambition to provide digital asset management services in Asia to be on par with Grayscale in the U.S., Bowman said. Investors need a regulated outfit in which they can invest something like Grayscale in New York. So they want like an American version. What we're doing here is a similar story, the same as American one. Uh, when the company started to invest in digital assets in 2016, it had a hard time to, to find basic services Auditing, fund administration, and banking. All right, all right, all right. Um, whoops, where are we going here? What's going on here? Look, look. Um, so let's just skip down to the last. So what he said is you need auditors, you need a licensed fund administrator, you need to have professional care, he said. We need anti-money laundering people, and amongst others, you need to have a what? Professional what? Buy custodian. Boom, all right, brothers. Let's go listen to Mike Novogratz. Bang, all right. So that's awesome, though, but hold on. Let's, let's get back and ruminate on this a little bit. Yeah, right? Mutual funds. This is where your mass adoption is going to come. Mutual funds, 401k, uh, retirement funds, IRAs, your children's uh, college saving funds. You're daggone right. You're daggone right people are going to do that. They're going to fucking do that big time. But the, the shit like we're doing... You know, moving money around, 
fiat from here to Coinbase and get hacked. Our shit gets stolen. You got to email here and that. People aren't going to do that. And all that crap I told you like yesterday, <laughs> you know, putting your shit on a fucking, you know, debit card and all that. Yeah, Poppy Wood and, 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 and Bob might do that. Yeah, the rest of you aren't, are you? I'm not doing that. Of course not. It's stupid, right? Anyways, but they're not stupid. Just they're doing something stupid. Yes. Look, bye, look. Mike and Overgrats, Bitcoin and crypto investors are early. Industry entering elementary school. And so this is what I like. At Mike and Overgrats, you know, he's a crypto guy. He's a, a Bitcoin maximalist and all this stuff. But he actually is a real player. Well, he's not a maximalist. In other words, he has no illusions. He knows that Bitcoin is going to be a store of value. People are not going to be buying Starbucks with it en masse. And because he's a real player, you know what I mean? He's a, you know, he's a real killer. He used to be the, uh, one of the managing partners of, uh, I can't remember if it was JP Morgan or Charles Schwab, but one of those, like, that's what he is. He's a real, you know, guy, player. And, uh. I mean, he was right. He said it would jump off. Uh, the large caps would jump off Q1. I thought Q2, but he was right. They did jump off Q1. Then again, he's up there you know, playing golf with these billionaires. I'm not. <laughs> All right, look. Let's read it. The CEO of crypto-involved investment bank, Galaxy Digital. Wait a minute. This is tiny. can't even read this shit. All right, there we go. The CEO of crypto investment bank, Galaxy Digital. So the cryptocurrency industry is still in its infancy. Exactly. I told you. Embryonic stages. Man, we are, this is the very, very beginnings. Like the sperm just going into the egg. We're, the, 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 the baby hasn't even really truly begun to even grow within the womb. Never mind a full baby. Look. Uh, so, in a new interview with The Block, Michael Novogratz compares Bitcoin's timetable to gold and says he thinks Bitcoin is emerging as a supplement for the precious metal. I agree. Store value. Absolutely, why not? We are early, he says. We're still in elementary school as an industry. When you think about it, Bitcoin is 10 years old. Ethereum is what? Four years old. Gold is 3,000 years old. And while I fundamentally believe Bitcoin is going to supplement people's gold allocations, right? If you think of it, Bitcoin is digital gold. More and more people are buying into that. Exactly. They're buying into that. It is a store of value. We will buy into that. Buying a Starbucks with it, not so much. But as a store of value, absolutely. Why not? Why not? I could put it on Ledger Nano and uh, take it with me wherever I got to go. If I'm in a war zone, you know, right now, you know, Syria is in a civil war, you know. You could take your hodlings, throw that on a, buy some Bitcoin, fill, like that's when you would take your all your hodlings, throw that on a, on a uh, buy some Bitcoin, throw that on a Ledger and get the fuck out of there. Grab your wife and kid, <laughs> leave that country, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Keep a little cash to pay the the smugglers to get out and bounce. Hmm. All right. Novogratz points to two powerful Bitcoin supporters. Oh, my gosh. Fidelity CEO Abigail Johnson and Fortress Investor Group CEO Pete Brigger as a sign that an increasing number of entrepreneurs will enter the space. Ugh, we all know about Fidelity already. Trillions of dollars under management. In their Houston offices, they allow their, their, their employees to have Bitcoin mining rigs in the office. <laughs> That's how hardcore Fidelity is. That's why, make no mistake about it. I know I keep preaching it. I keep saying it. Make no mistake about it. When Fidelity unleashes with the crypto here in America, and probably worldwide, I don't know wherever, they, wherever else they operate, but here in America anyway, look, look, look. That's going to be your fucking mass, mass adoption. Shit. Whole towns and cities are going to be. Yes. <laughs> Look, as for the price of Bitcoin, 
He thinks it will continue to consolidate around 10000 in the short term. Uh, you're getting a bigger and bigger cheerleading team that has influence. You're also creating more and more ways, easier ways for people to buy into Bitcoin. Like I said, not everyone wants to do the shit we're doing. They want an easy way. I think that train is working. It's not going to go straight up. We went up from 3000 to 14000 So I got criticized on Twitter for saying I should have sold more. And then I bought some back. And I think we're going to consolidate around here for a while. And the next leg is going to be a big leg higher. I agree. The next leg, I think November, December, bang. Once back comes online and those other CFT uh, futures come online, physically settled, and the British guys, those guys, things come online in November, December, we're going to have a big leg higher and stay there. So if you think about the macro narrative, that's just my opinion. In the last 14 months, it's Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin. And that's the thing. Bitcoin's going to drive all this stuff up. All of these things, the futures, the ETFs, all this, the options, they're all Bitcoin options, futures, ETFs, and all that, right? We have to wait. So, you know, we need the rest of these to get those investment vehicles attached to them as well. Uh, Bitcoin outperformed the index by 400, by 150 points, oh, sorry, 150%. This year and so it is a staggering macro trend so the other piece was retail right given barry silbert tons of credit that he got this bitcoin trust thing up and running before the regulators said no one else could do it um i think that's the grayscale guy um he has a kind of quasi monopoly on this quasi etf he's done a great job that's a great product a great asset management product i'm envious and so if you want to actually hear the whole interview, it's right here. And uh, how long is it? It's 51 minutes. You guys know that I put the um, the links for every story that I read to you guys in the description of every video of the day. So you can come here. Just the link is there. Just press the link. You know, copy and paste it, whatever, into your browser window. And bang, you'll come here. And then if you want to actually listen to Novogratz talk about crypto 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 and stuff bang you can re you can listen to it okay so look look bang look all right let's see what we got here brent c spy lady bang yeah <laughs> we call her spy lady because she had this picture it looked like she was a spy like she had sunglasses on and like by this big window right and i don't know it just looked like she'd be looking out the window like with some binoculars spying on something look look brent c love you girl see you girl Bang! Here's. Who's this? Rob Ert. Bang! Love your brother. See your brother. Bang! Hurricane Master. Bang! Love your brother. See your brother. Bang! Here's. Who we got? 420. Bang! Love your brother. See your brother. Bang! Sweetie. Whoop. Where are we going? Right here? Let's move this down a little bit. Let's move it on down. Look, look. Love you, sweetie. Yes. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bang! Son of a bitch. Look, look, bang. Look, look, bang. Look, look, bang. Yeah. Got you, airdropper. Love your brother. See your brother. Bang. Poppy Wood. Love your brother. See your brother. Bang. Yes. Radster. You haven't been around for a minute. Bang. Love your brother. See your brother. Bang. Yes. Yes. That's how it goes. Binium. What's Binium talking about? Binium. Love your brother. See your brother. Bang. Stellar, XLM leads, renewed altcoin boom with Bitcoin, while Bitcoin fails to prove the bullish intention. All right, some price movement shit. All right. Edwin. Yes. Love your brother, see your brother. Bang. Yes. One of the originals. Min. Bang. See you, brother. What do we got here? The Lunar Crypto feed. Once a day, I post the coin of the day from... Lunar Crush, the coin of the day, is the most talked about cryptocurrency over the previous 24 hours. All right, Lunar Crush data. Bang, here's Forbin Capital. What are you talking about? We are a global investment management firm. <sighs> that seeks to achieve high quality, uncorrelated returns across blockchain markets. All right. Bang. Give it a shot, buddy. All right, look. Oh, there's Van Breeden. 
Oh, and here's that crazy guy again. <laughs> Van Breeden. Look at him. Bye. And he says, Van Breeden. Bye. V chain. Van Breeden. <laughs> Bye. Iota. Van Breeden. All right. That's crazy. All right. We're not going to give Van Breeden a full story tonight. Yes. Not tonight, not tonight. I'm going to chill that mood. I don't feel like getting too hyped. But look, look, we will give out a few. Van Breeden. Bye. Love your brother. See your brother. Bye. All right. That's everybody. Let's bang. Head back. Bang. Look, look. All right. <laughs> All right. Great show for you today, brothers. Look, look. All right. What do we got? Oh, Algorand. So we, we keep hearing about that Algorand thing. On the top ten, bottom ten, you know the, the 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 losers and gainers of the of the day, and bang, there they go onboarding Asset Block in a sixty million dollar real estate platform. And actually, I read another article about this exact same thing. And if this is a success, they're going to continue on. So this ain't over. Uh, that sixty million dollar thing is just the beginning, uh, according to uh, what they call Asset Block. So. Yeah, they have Asset Block has I don't remember what the number was, but it was something like something something billion dollars under management. So they're only going to start with the 60 million dollars worth this stuff, but they have more. And so, yeah, so I guess if this works out, good. Bang. And then Bitcoin Mutual Fund in Asia. I told you. I told you. That's where we're going, boys. Bitcoin mutual funds, Bitcoin 401k's, Bitcoin retirement funds, Bitcoin college savings funds <laughs> holy not only bitcoin but crypto in general we're gonna have all of it there's gonna be a fucking v chain mutual fund one day i mean down the road down the road but it'll happen one day and uh that's what we're waiting for that's the real i told you about markets here's your stock market yeah that's what's traded every day this all that that's the 401ks those are the mutual funds those are the retirement funds that's the real market this is the little crap that you see and people freak out about on the you know, morons. They don't get it every day because of that up and down, you know, 700 points today. Yeah, who gives a shit? That's the market. And that's what we need in this crypto market. We need the real market. It ain't the sexy stuff. I know. It's not the sexy stuff. Your mutual funds, your 401ks and that. It ain't sexy. It's boring as shit. But that's what makes a market. It's like custody. Yeah, hearing about custody. Yeah, it's boring as shit hearing about it, isn't it? Yeah, but without it, well, <laughs> you don't have a market, fucker. You know what I mean? You can have all the fancy ETFs and mutual funds and swaps and all this that you want to try to do without custody, that one boring little piece. Well, you don't have anything, buddy. You just got a shit show. <laughs> you have a shit show. That's what you have. You have a shit show. And that's the same thing as this market. You can go buy all the Starbucks coffees with your crypto that you want. Well, without these boys right here, the fund managers, fund managers, F-U-N-D managers, without fund managers, you don't have a market, bitch. Without custody and fund managers, you got fuck all. <laughs> it ain't sexy. But that's what does it. All right. So, and then we're glad it's happening. And so, bang. So what are you saying, Shamari? So what I'm saying is, dag on, I'm glad here in Asia. Well, they're in Asia. I'm here in South Beach. But over there in Asia, look, look. Yes, we got a mutual fund coming online. Like, it ain't big. Right? What did it say? It was only, what, the $1 million, the first one? I don't remember. It was some shitty little number. The second, and then 30 billion, 30 million, sorry, the, the third one. And, uh. But some big names got into the third one, so it's catching on right now, right? It's catching on, so good stuff. And then finally, well, like I've been telling you guys, and Mike Novogratz has now confirmed what I've told you, you know, store value, you know what I mean? Like, the big boys are starting to realize, you know, this is like gold. Store value, um, it's a legitimate asset class. And uh, um, 
you know, get in, get in, you know, get in because others are going to get in. And so it's, I guess it's a little bit of what crypto folk call the FOMO, right? Like get in before everyone else, right? Because it's legit. It's legit. Uh, it's legit. And so, you know, that's why we like to listen to Mike No Regrets. I don't listen to, I don't really talk about what CEOs say around here because usually it's a bunch of bullshit, but, you know, Mike Novogratz, he's sort of the adopted CEO that I have around here. So, bang, all right, let's chill and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. So, subscribe below, press the bell, you get automatic notifications when I do the show. The greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. My name is Shamari Clark. I love doing this. I love talking money. I love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. And so, look, look. Thank you for having me in your home. And until tomorrow, well, my name is Shamar Clark. Look, look. I'm always on duty. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Over and out.